So this is uh, the introduction video to the book that I'm writing uh, with uh, Roberto Villaflor. So the first thing that will live in a course of algebraic topology, uh, we first construct a, a manifold, let's call it uh, X by uh, charts. So let's zeta one going to some open sets in Rn, then another uh, chart zeta two going to another open set again in Rn. And uh, so we built uh, the, the concept of a C infinity manifold. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, then uh, in the charts, we have these integrations, uh, fx1, x2, xn, dx1, dx2, dxn, and, and then using the partition of uni unity, partition of unity, we finally define the concept of, uh, of uh, integral omega being in H uh, n the ram x and delta being in H n x z. Uh, so, uh, so here, this is an n-form, and this guy is a uh, C infinity function, but in general, we can replace this one with the differential n-form, and, uh, and so uh, here, instead of just a dimension of uh, x, we can put arbitrary m, m. So in the course of differential uh, uh, topology, we define this uh, Deram cohomology. Cohomology. And this one, singular, singular homology. So, but uh, we want to apply all this machinery to a projective variety and actually x is smooth projective variety and and one other uh, uh, so everything will be over complex number 9066 uh, grotendic Observe that uh, instead of the wrong cohomology, we can define something called algebraic the wrong cohomology. That in the course uh, 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 we will define it, and usually when we, when we want to write the algebraic the wrong cohomology, we put this is slash uh, over c. In the same time, uh, uh, Grotendik and the people around him, they realize that singular homology is something typical to topology. And there is no equivalent uh, version of it uh, in algebraic geometry. But their effort to translate this guy, algebraic geometry, resulted in uh, et al. cohomology, cohomology and uh, crystalline crystalline cohomology. Despite the fact that uh, we cannot define homology in algebraic geometry, we can still construct some elements of this guy. So from now on, assume that M is even number. And uh, take Z, a sub-variety of X, just for now, let's assume that if this is smooth, of dimension m over half. And this dimension is the complex dimension. So its real dimension will be m. So this z 
is an algebraic sub-variety of x of uh, dimension m half and uh, a real dimension m. And even in the course of algebraic topology, we know how to attach to this guy a homology class hm, hm, x, z. Uh, one of the things that it is not so clear in the literature, and uh, with Roberto, we, want, we have uh, written it explicitly in our book, that algebraic Deron cohomology is canonically isomorphic to the classical Deron cohomology here M, when we consider X as a C infinity manifold and this Deron cohomology with complex coefficients. So anyway, this isomorphism is not an arbitrary isomorphism. It is explicitly given, and this means that whatever construction, topological construction here we have, topological construction, like coproduct, product, we can transfer it to the algebraic side. Algebraic uh, for example, algebraic cop product. In particular, uh, whatever what we can do, we can uh, we can introduce this kind of integration omega in H M deram x over c. Since the topological cycles, we cannot uh, all of them recover by algebraic geometric method, so we just integrate over the homology class of the algebraic cycle. So the main uh, objective of the course is the computation of, uh, of uh, these numbers that we will call them period of algebraic cycles. Here, I have to mention a theorem uh, of, uh, of uh, okay, uh, Okay, so uh, again, uh, due to Grothendieck, something that we will do it, that this algebraic Deron cohomology, actually you can define it for arbitrary field K, characteristic K equal to uh, zero. And if in our, for our purpose, we will always assume that K is a subfield of C. And uh, it was uh, Delin, around the 1980s who observed that these numbers up to this 2 pi i factor 2 pi i uh, m half they will be in k bar if x and z are defined over k so whatever you start from uh, uh, x and z defined over a field, this number will be some, uh, some will go to the algebraic extension of uh, K. So one of our goals in the course is to, uh, uh, is to uh, uh, describe all the applications of this number in algebraic uh, uh, geometry. Uh, 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 for, uh, for example, uh, uh, using these numbers, we can state the uh, something called Hodge conjecture. So what is this? Uh, after uh, Grothendieck's definition of algebraic the, the realm cohomology, something uh, which uh, that was done uh, by Delin uh, that we can define the Hodge filtration which is defined in the harmonic side, purely in the algebraic side. This will be filtration of the cohomology, and it will go until Fm, and Fm plus 1 will be 0. And it turns out that we, we can define something called Hodge cycle. So Hodge cycle will be a cycle in Hm, x, z, such that this part of the filtration over delta 
is zero. And it is a very simple observation that we'll make that the algebraic cycle that we had is a Hodge a cycle. And then we will reach to this uh, uh, millennium conjecture that any Hodge cycle is algebraic. So for this one, we have to say, I have to say that instead of just one variety, we have to take a combination of these variety. And something that also I forgot to mention that uh, not necessarily ZI is smooth, ZI can be also singular. And there is a way to associate to singular ZI also a cohomology class, either by, uh, uh, by Hironaka's uh, resolution of singularities or by using uh, the Cherknas method introduced by Grothendieck. Uh, the main, uh, the final goal of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the course and the book is to put Hodge cycle in families. And when we put it uh, in families, we will reach onto a concept called Hodge locus. And it will uh, turn out that in order to study this uh, Hodge locus, we will need uh, many concepts like infinite small variation of of uh, Hodge structures, we will uh, land on something called uh, Grothendieck's, Grothendieck's variation of Hodge conjecture, and we will uh, give a very stronger version of this conjecture, which we will call them alternative Hodge conjecture. And at the end of the day, the course is all the details of this, whatever uh, I wrote uh, here in this short video.